milk tart liqueur or a milk tart shooter this stuff right here that's what we're making today i never heard of it to be perfectly honest with you guys but i can tell you right now it's actually pretty delicious how's it going chasers i hope you're having a kick-ass week i'm jesse and this is still at the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby this recipe was sent in to me by a guy called Mark, who is one of the Patreons. And uh, he's from South Africa. He said that this stuff is all over the place in the bars around where he is. Um, it's kind of bizarre to me. I'd never heard of it, didn't know it was a thing. Uh, I'm glad I made it though, because it's actually quite tasty. So if you want to try making this at home, uh, we're going to get stuck right in and show you how to make some. At the end, I'll give you some tasting notes and uh, tell you what I think of this stuff. Let's start out with what you're going to need. First of all, one can of evaporated milk. Second, a can of condensed milk and some cinnamon. You're also going to need, obviously, some booze. I'm using 750 mils of neutral. It's basically vodka, but at 50%. Uh, you're also going to need something to stir with and something to stir in. Seriously, this is so freaking easy. <laughs> Just tip the entire can of condensed milk into the thing you're stirring in. You can get all fancy like and use some of that neutral spirit to rinse that can out if you want, because let's face it, it is very, very sticky. Next up, the entire can of evaporated milk goes in. Uh, yes, this stuff is actually different. The condensed is sweet and the evaporated, not so much. Next up, add your spirit in what's left of it anyway if you use some of it to clean the jars earlier on. And then break out the cinnamon. You're going to need one quarter teaspoon of this stuff. Pop it all in, give it a really good mix. And then I would suggest covering it up and popping it in the fridge for about as long as you have the patience for. I only had uh, four hours before I needed to carry on with this video, but I would definitely suggest you want to do this at least overnight before bottling. Before we get to tasting this stuff, guys, I need to say a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. You guys are the only reason that I get to do this stuff, so thank you so, so, so much, team. Uh, heads up, today, the day that this video goes out, not when I'm recording it, but when it goes out, uh, check on Patreon. There's going to be an update on some extra merch. There's going to be some uh, extra rewards at a few different tiers as well, guys. So um, check it out and uh thank you i appreciate it all right so uh that was insanely easy to make let's be honest guys uh i only left it in the fridge like i said for about four hours i would get the feeling that overnight or you know a little bit longer it's probably not a horrible idea but let's calm down a whole lot now let's give it a nudge <laughs> it's so weird it does not taste like what i thought it would taste like Honestly, I thought it was going to taste like a sickly sweet kind of unspiced eggnog <laughs> is what I had pegged in my head. Nothing like that at all. Uh, it is sweet, but it's not crazy sweet. It's definitely milk-like, not, um, it's not candy-like or custard-like. It tastes like milk. And the funniest thing is the, uh, the two things, well, there's three things that stand out. One is the, it's undeniably milky. Four, actually. Okay, let's go four. It's undeniably milky. It's undeniably sweet, but not sickly sweet. I thought this was going to be much sweeter than it is. I am glad I didn't knock the uh, the condensed milk back at all, to be honest with you. Uh, third is, it's still quite boozy. It's got a fair amount of punch to it. It isn't like, you know, just a creamy uh, dessert. It's still quite boozy. And I guess, I don't know, I haven't run the math, but I'm guessing it's about 30%, 35%, something like that. And the fourth thing that blows my mind is that it tastes like coconut. Straight up coconut. That's bizarre. I guess it's kind of the milk and the, um, not so much the spicy, but I guess the, the barky and the nutty side of the cinnamon playing together. It's really coconutty though. It's, it's yum. So it's not uh, the sort of thing that I'm going to pour and sit and sip with dinner, uh, but you know, if you've got friends and family over and you just had a nice dinner together, you want to sit and relax and, um, you know, maybe you can't be bothered with dessert. Really pretty good stuff, guys. Marek was telling me that this is quite often sold like a, like a shot, like a shooter, at all the student bars around his area. Um, I guess, I mean, I never really understood people that 
did shots of Baileys or <laughs> any of the creams. Um, maybe it's a cultural thing, I don't know. Uh, but I, t I tell you right now, guys, if you, uh, if you haven't tried this and you've got some neutral sitting around, give it a nudge or you, you, know, you can get a cheap bottle of vodka. It is so freaking easy to make and it's actually pretty good. Oh, don't forget to uh, store the stuff in the fridge, right guys? This has been a whole lot of fun, guys. An absolute blast. I, uh, I appreciate the fact that someone sent this recipe in for me. Honestly, I wasn't going to really try it because dairy, sort of desserty things aren't my jam in the first place, let alone, you know, as a spirit. But I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I made this. It was fun. So thank you, dude. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.